first bit of news is out of Germany. A German court finds seven men who claimed to be Sharia police. A German court has found seven men who formed a self-styled Sharia police guilty of violating rules on wearing uniforms. German news agency DPA reported that a court on Monday finds the men aged between 27 and 37. The penalty is ranging from 300 euros to 100 I'm sorry, 1,800 euros. The group took to the street of the western city of Vorptal in 2014, dressed in orange vests, bearing the words Sharia police, handing out leaflets, declaring the area a Sharia-controlled zone, where alcohol, music, and pornography were banned under Islam's Sharia law. So uh, this did happen back in 2014. And if you're wondering why it's news now, they were originally uh, let go. It was It was found in their first trial that... Them wearing vests didn't constitute, you know, them trying to become figures of authority. Uh, so then the the courts actually appealed that and had them taken back to uh, to court to have this new um, sentence put upon them. Wait, they only getting charged so between three hundred euros and eighteen hundred euros, right? So that's three hundred thirty right. between three hundred and thirty five dollars to around two thousand dollars, I guess, right? But um, but that's it. Like they're not gonna get like jail time or anything like that. Yeah. Are who are are these people? Okay, so these are Muslims. Are they like what? Are they immigrants or are they born in Germany? Do you know anything? You know that was not established. Right. Um, they they didn't release that bit of information on them. But uh, they were acquitted actually. And and this is what's crazy to any Americans probably listening to this is once once you're acquitted of a crime, like you can't just go back uh, and get charged again. But they were acquitted in 2016 because the judges found that the vests couldn't be classified as a uniform and they weren't intimidating. But I'm sorry, if you're if you're wandering the streets handing out pamphlets telling people if you drink alcohol or watch pornography, and I don't know how they'd know if you're watching pornography on the streets, but, uh, you know, if, if you do that here, you know, you're obviously going to be punished because we're the police. That is intimidating, I think. I don't know. Wait, okay, so the uniforms are the problem. What about the threats and the harassment? Like, you're basically threatening people that there's consequences to drinking alcohol in this area. Isn't that right. a crime? Uh, that's not what they're being charged for, no. Yeah, but I know it, they're not. But So they're only being charged because they were wearing uniforms that made them look like police, I guess, right? And yeah. then they got let, um, you know, they got let go because it wasn't that similar to police you're saying well it's uh the uniforms weren't necessarily uh classified for police wear mm -hmm. um because they're on their uniforms on their vest it said sharia police oh, I mean, so oh. <laughs> that is just obvious that that's okay but but i think there should be more charges there should be like intimidation of you know people harassment that's like yeah uh, I mean, while their vests weren't intimidating, their presence and then threatening people who wanted alcohol or pornography, that, that was great. These people are so ungrateful. Like, they are in Germany, one of the most, you know, liberal countries in the world, and they want to, like, what do you want? Do you want it to turn it into a shithole? Well, go live somewhere else then. Like, you know, these are, not only they are taking advantage of a society that is way more advanced than any country that has Sharia police in it, instead of being thankful, you want to turn it into a country where people fled from and come to Germany, like what the? F Honestly, like uh, you know, if the if the if the government is not taking this seriously enough to like punish them properly, I think there should be like people should like secular people in Germany should just go to this zone and have like, uh, you know, oh here's what you, here's how you respond to this, okay? Gay people of Germany just invade this area and just go pub like have make out publicly in this area like you need to have like 500 couples gay couples there with bacon and alcohol <laughs> making out and just turn this into a gay make out zone okay just like did that needs to be a reaction for them to be like what have we done like just make the make this turn it into their worst not nightmare right like i don't understand you you can't let you can't let these things happen. How do you know if how people are reacting to this? Like if they want to intimidate you with like you know pamphlets and calling this alcohol free zone, you need to re react in a legal way. And I think kissing 
in public, gay couples having bacons in the streets, and actually drinking in public is illegal in Germany, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, should be, but also, so is watching pornography or walking down okay, the street. Okay, so don't drink, mean- if drinking in public is illegal, forget that. Go there with your bacon sandwiches, okay? And make making out in public is not, you know, illegal in Germany. So just go there and just turn this into a very gay friendly zone, right? Just react in a legal way, but in the way that they, they these people will find as an attack, right? Um, I just what, what do you think? Is that good a good idea to you know just take over this neighborhood? Like you can't. Let- you can't let them, you can't let these people, like, they are, they are taking over. Like, this is like, a, this should be treated as an invasion. I think this should be treated like a, as a cultural invasion of your, of part of your city. Which city was this in? You know? Mm. I don't know, whatever it is. It's a cultural invasion and you have to take it back. You have to take it back if the police is not going to take it seriously. You have to take it back with le- legally with things that they see as an attack. But legal, legally is not considered an attack. Like, don't assault. Like, be be careful. Like, some people are going to try to overreact. Be careful. Like, don't don't. Um, I'm pretty sure like some far right people would, if they want to react to this, they're going to like go and try to make things even worse. So don't do that. Uh, react. In fact, they would love that if some far right people want to go there and react. They're going to just make things worse because then they're going to react and then the Muslims want to react and then the given the far right wants to react to their reaction. So don't do that, right? De- de- attack them in a way that de-escalates things. Like attack, they, because the, Mus- the Muslims like this, for example, they would love for the far right to attack them because now it's war. Like this is like, they these people want like a uh, tensions. So the kind of attacks that the far right does, that's what they want because they, 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 they want more tension, right? But the kind of attack that I'm suggesting, like just going out and turning, have the next pride parade over there in their fucking neighborhood. Oh, I was trying not to swear. Um, in their neighborhood, like that's not the kind of attack that they want. And given that that's not the kind of attack that they want, you know what kind of attack you should do. This is how you react to this stuff like this, right? Wait. Um, let me see what the top comment is. Merrily is saying so much hate on this site. I am seeing a connection between religion and hate and anti-religion and hate. Hate is fear. People crawl out of your hate world. It will eat you up and continue to infect the world around you. I don't know what she's referring to. Is she referring to some other comments here? Are you talking about some other comments on the page? I don't know which ones you're talking about. We actually get that a lot though, Armin. Um, We we get told that all the time through our message board, uh, through our email. That whenever we share stuff like this, they say that we're the hateful ones for doing that. Um, and it's clearly because we hate people that we are sharing this kind of news. No, I mean, if, if, I don't know if you're, if she's referring to just us posting about this news, which is ridiculous if you think that's hateful. But if you're referring to the comments here, I think if you generalize anti religious people the same way people generalize Muslims, then you're merely you're part of the problem. If you see like people that are anti-religious and you see some comments that are uh, hateful and then you see like, oh, I see hate, so much hate in the atheist movement, then you're basically doing the same kind of generalization that people do with Christians and Muslims. And you're actually part of the problem. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. If you expect it for the atheist community to be all rainbows and butterflies and people with no hate coming, everybody in the atheist community to be uh, more mature and, you know, everybody to be intelligent and not hateful, then, I mean, and ev- not everybody to be intelligent. The fact that you think that is actually proof that, no, not everybody in the ACES community is very intelligent. Um, Taran is saying the Sharia policemen must be deported to the country that follows Sharia law. There are many. I don't think that's a good... Uh, I mean, what, we don't know who these people are. Are they citizens? Were they born in Germany? If they were, then they shouldn't be. That's illegal for you to deport people just because they committed the crime if they're, if they're German citizens. In fact, if you want to do that, then you yourself are not respecting German laws, which is exactly what these people uh, did. I think if they are here and they are immigrants and they have a crime, they do commit a crime, then that, that would be grounds for sending, deporting them because now you're not a citizen and you should be deported because, you know, 
you broke the law, so you shouldn't be able to stay here anymore. But if they are citizens, even if you don't like their religions, um, they should be able to stay. That's the law. Right. Um, let me see. Oliver is, Oliver's comment is too long. I can't read that. That's going to stay here forever. Uh, B is just saying, if you say you are the police, that should be considered uh, impersonation. Yeah. I mean, unless you're an actor and shooting a movie, then you actually go and get a permit for that. Chris is saying, don't forget to have the women wear short shirts at their uh, uh, and their hair flowing, uh, flowing free. Yeah. Yeah, but I know that. Yeah, they get offended by that. But but if you have like gay people keep making out in the streets there, that's that's what's really going to get them right. Just take over that territory with gay love. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.